What's going on guys? John Bon Jovi Sr. here. Not Junior. I actually spelled my name correctly because I'm not a fucking asshole. Uh, but how you guys doing? We're back. I got, uh, I don't know if you can tell, got this mustache growing in awfully. Uh, so things are going well. Uh, but we're back on 49ers franchise. Joey Lockler having a decent rookie season. These are his current attributes. They're getting pretty good. He's up to an 86 overall. Uh, everyone is improving on the squad. Today we will face the Washington Redskins. I feel like we always are at home in the videos. Who would be week four? The Rams. Let's play the Redskins. Let's see who their quarterback is. Let's see how this situation goes. I definitely want to play a lot more games. We're at 91 overall. Like this is this is no joke at this point. This is a solid team, and we'll see how we can do against um, against these Redskins. 83 overall to our 91. We're just trying to fix a little bit of the inconsistency that we've seen in the past couple of games. Uh, or I guess we've only really played one. But, you know, in the past series, really, with, you know, figuring out the sliders. And we got a lot of younger guys on our team. You saw Joey Lockler, Marcus Wiley, Walter Wiley. Everyone on this team is, like, like 16 years old. They're so young. But uh, regardless, we're going to get into this one. Maybe Dante Buchanan, that's another young gun. This is uh, second year. O.J. Howard is... I don't even know where he'd be. It's like the fourth season. He's probably like been in the league for five years. He's probably like 28, 29. Jesus. We are back. What did I call? We are back really far off the line. Second and six. Let's play that over the middle. I knew he was going to check down. I had a, a light blue over there. I guess Perry Cox, you know, checked down quickly. Made the tackle. Uh, but I guess we'd have to hard flat if we really wanted to play there. The problem with hard flats is uh, you're screwed if they run a streak, and they always seem to when you run hard flats. So you can't really do it. And, but see, it's wide open if you don't. That's a fumble. Ball's on the ground. Jacorius Ward forces it. Derek Winfield recovers. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, let's get it action. Get it action. What does that mean? I'm going to take this shot. We're going to throw that ball. Sanchez Heaney, end zone. He's overthrown. Oh, my God, dude. What is the deep accuracy? It's like 87. It's like 87. And I feel like Joey Lockler can't hit a fucking deep throw to save his life. Oh, that's a touchdown. You got to be curious how uh, I ran for negative eight yards on the first carry for Marcus Wiley. I don't even, I can't even tell you. Uh, it just kind of happened. But I do have a new cord, so it's not going to be disconnecting all the time. Um, but I'm going to get fucking sacked because my offensive line is really shitty. Now, what happened there is they sent a blitz and uh, it was play action. It was just bad timing. Is that a play action? Yeah, I got screwed. Oh, that's good pressure, though. That's uh, DeForest Buckner coming in from the inside. I like it. Second and ten. They're finally going to run the football, and they're going to do so with success. 20 yards for Jeremy Hill. I'm, I don't really know what happened there. I was right there, and he just kind of ran through me without... Touching me? I, I don't really know. Uh, Madden 18, I guess. It's kind of what happens. That's a run. They're running right out. I can't shed the block with Quan Alexander. Samaje Piran just destroys Perry Curry. Dude. <laughs> like, the running game is, is so strong right now for the Redskins. We have one of the best front sevens in football. It's very frustrating. Get it. That's it, Zach. DeForest Buckner. That's the only way we can get to the quarterback, but I'll take it. He's been getting pressure. I like it. Maybe I gotta send more blitz. I don't more blitzes. I don't really know. We're trying man here. And that's a run. What are you doing, Joey? Why? Why? Dude, it's <laughs> it's so scripted. I really can't tell you anything more than that. He goes out of his way to get it. He thinks that you catch balls with your fucking helmet. Now, instead of being on the 20, we're on the, uh, well, I guess 11 now after a good run, but... the hell was that? Here we go. There's a good play action. Uh, that's going to be open. We're going to throw that ball. There it is. George Kittle down the sideline. We're moving it a little bit here. 
Joey Lockler's one miss was a missed touchdown where we didn't end up getting any points, so it was a big one because Sanchez Heaney was wide open. Crushed cornerback on that left side there, whoever was on him. I'm going to throw that ball again. That's open. That's O.J. Howard. We're running great offense here so far. Redskins have no answer. Walter Wiley's still in the game. We're going to roll out to his side. We're actually going to run here. It's just the best option. Joey Lockler ducks out of bounds. Close to the first down marker. Third and inches. Should be able to get this pretty easily. I don't think we'll go for it if we don't, though. But I really don't want to think about that. I just want to get it. Why are you showing zero fumbles to see? I don't want to see that. Just say, like, the amount of yardage. <laughs> oh, I wanted to throw it. I'm going to throw it anyway. He stayed open. Kyle used check first down. It was not a good sack. That really screwed us up here. We're going to throw that ball to Dante Buchanan, though. That was really tight coverage. Really tight coverage by Josh Norman. We're going to settle for three. Take our points. Just play defense. That's a draw. Shed that block. Somebody. Oh, that's a great, great job from Jamar Wiggins. Big 69, as we like to call him here. Third and six. I'm going to try man. Nah, I'm not. I'm going to go. We're going to stay zone. Hopefully we just cover uh, cover the flat. I don't want to run hard, though. See, that's the, they always go to the flat on all Madden. And even though I'm in, like, they didn't get it, they're coming so close. They're getting easy, easy yards. I was an easy five. That maybe isn't happening if we run hard flats. I might try to just run hard flats for a while. I'm not really sure. I'm going to come back to regret it, I can tell you. That's Joey Cummings, I guess, is going to field this punt. Actually controlling him that time. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god, Joey Cummings almost. Almost. It's a good return. I'll take it. That's where his value is with the team right now. Marcus Wiley hasn't been impressing me as a starter. I gotta say it. Joey Cummings could be in business to earn his starting job back. That's open. What a throw. Great foot placement there by Dante Buchanan as well. What idiot Redskins on the sideline. You saw it. It's clearly not incomplete. Why are you lying? Let's streak Dante Buchanan. Safety looks like he's going to come down. That's wide open. Oh my goodness. That's so open. OJ Howard. He's got it. Celebrate, big fella. I don't know what happened there. It looks like that was like a pick play somehow with the streak. <laughs> That looked like some cheese, man. 53 yards. I don't care. I'll take it. 10 0, 49ers. And honestly, it should be. We're a much better team than this Redskins squad. We got to show out here at home. Two plays, 77 yards, 36 seconds. And Taylor Moten tore his shoulder. Fuck! Why? Starting center. Goodbye for the year, probably. Tore his shoulder. Awesome. Might want to start coming out in a ton more nickel if we're going to run hard flats, especially out of cover three. Is that a run? It's a play action. Throw at me. I'm there. I wasn't there that time. Kirk Cousins misses. Don't think he was open anyway, uh, considering on the time he tried to throw that. Good defense again. Fourth and eight. Off to a decent start so far. Not amazing, but it's at least decent. I think we might have a one-on-one -on -one shot. See, there's only one safety over the top. If I think this could be really successful if they're blitzing here. We just need the time to make the throw. Wide open over the middle. That's almost a really bad throw. Sanchez Heaney somehow hauls that one in. Continuing Joey Lockler's pretty much great day. And we're going to keep throwing the football. Running game has not, not been good so far. Really haven't been able to get much going. Again, they're coming up with such an odd look. Hopefully something's wide open, obviously. Nothing is open. I should have just thrown it away. Said we take a sack. Is that play action? It is. Staying over the middle. Can't get there with Reuben Foster. That's not who I was using. I was on Quan Alexander. I'm getting a little bit tongue-tied this episode. Let's try a Tampa 2 hard flat. Based on what they're doing here, I definitely want to get uh, some more linebackers in the box playing defense. Ronald Blair with the sack. Unlikely, but he gets it. We got Carl Lawson out there. We have Solomon Thomas, you know, because obviously Dawson Henderson got injured if you watched last episode. 
just did a simulation at the end, so that was awesome. Um, he didn't even play every snap, but he came in and made the play. I love it. I'm going to go back to Tampa 2, actually. Play hard flat. There it is. You can't keep checking down. <laughs> you can't. And they get out of bounds. We have another two-minute drill situation for Joey Cummings. I think he had one last uh, last game we played near halftime. Interesting punt. It's, it's pretty good. It's going to pin us at the 12. Kick that like way too hard. All right, 137 to drive down the field. Probably not going to run the ball much, needless to say. Hopefully Sanchez Heaney gets wide open here. We're going to throw the ball. Okay. Nice hands, dude. All right, we got a touchdown on this play earlier where we streak Dante Buchanan out of this. I think in that case, I'm also going to streak Devontae Parker and hopefully get schemed open again. Oh my god! How is that not a flag? How is that not a flag? That's absolutely ridiculous. They blitzed heavy again. Look at this, dude. OJ Howard should be wide open. Wait, what is that? What is that? OJ Howard absolutely torches whoever Sullivan is, creative player. And what is this? What is that animation? He's past him. The ball is almost in the air at this point. And he fucking moonwalks to somehow throw one off Sullivan where he didn't even need to. And then it's an incomplete pass. What is that? What is that, Madden 18? Please tell me. That's killer. That's yardage there. That's big time yardage as well. Like, a field goal doesn't really hurt us, but I'm not trying to give up any points. I would like to blitz, but I just don't think it'd be the right call. I really don't think it would be. Big hit from Perry. He held on? On what planet? Oh, my God. I need the ball to not be caught there. Perry Curry hit him pretty hard. And he held on. I don't know how. I've never seen that before. That's got to be a pick. Derek Winfield had no idea the ball was even in the air. Somehow he's fucking looking at it. Good sack. Perfect. Who's 53 on my team? I actually have no idea. Lawson. Carl Lawson wears 53. That's kind of gross. Second and goal. 12 seconds. They have no timeouts. If we can get a sack here, it'd be clutch. No, 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 no. He's wide open. He's so... I don't know what to do there. It was a touchdown over the top, like there. Or a touchdown underneath. Um, and dances with wolves. We got another fucking kicker looking like that. Eight seconds to score. It's unlikely, I would say, at this point. We're going to run here. Give me a block. Give me a block. Okay, don't then. George Kittle just literally said, nah, those are linebackers. I'd rather block a safety. What are you doing? Dante Buchanan's wide open. That's a perfect throw as well. We're going to go for the hurdle. Uh, you know, you got to try it sometimes. It's funny how Dante Buchanan is really turning into my possession receiver. Despite the explosiveness that he displayed in the preseason of his rookie season, as OJ Howard's gonna get that. He's gonna bowl over some fellas, couldn't do it. Let me down to the three, though. Ah, uh, I just. I, he doesn't have the elusiveness, and there's an injury, too. You let it be another starting offensive lineman who's out for the year. That'd be sick. Is it Marcus Wiley? I don't really know what that was. He was trying to do the worm with one arm. Now, Marcus Wiley's injured. Wasn't having a great day anyway. Now, uh, Walter comes in, his brother, who is uh, not particularly a goal line back, but breaks a tackle and gets into the end zone. All right, Walter. You've broken two tackles on two runs. You have a touchdown. Probably more yardage than Walter has, or Marcus, I should say. Too many Wileys. Actually, you know what? Not enough Wileys. 
It's a great drive, though. Great start to the third quarter. Ate up some clock. That was killer. Killer drive. The ball's loose. Force Robert Robinson. Dre Priolo on the recovery. Priolo, touchdown. Oh, hell yeah. And Marcus Wiley's out for the game. Walter's going to get about a half of starting action. Which, uh, well, I guess not starting, but he's a half of running back one action. We're up 24-7. to seven. Probably going to be running the ball a decent bit. Hopefully the lanes open up. And if they don't, hopefully Walter makes some plays happen. We got a pretty big lead. We're in a good spot. Just got to shut him down defensively still. Get pressure. Solomon Thomas with the sack. Can't run play action against his front seven. Now that we actually occasionally get pressure. I think it's their third sack. But it's like, they haven't been amazing quality sacks. Just been, you know, pretty much just shooting the gap. Uh, and getting around the tackles quickly with speed bursts on, uh, on play actions. But I'll take it. Jeremy Hill still having a pretty good day. Let's press. That's a screen, actually. Get over there. Get over there. Thank you. No gain. They're going to force... Uh, we're we're going to force a field goal attempt. 24 to 10 it should be. We're not... I'm not even going to attempt to block that. All right. Walter Wiley's time to shine. There's a spin move. I mean, he's already having just a way better day <laughs> than Marcus, despite only averaging two yards on the ground. He's just been better. I think he already might have the same number of yardage. Uh, this fucking linebacker, dude, keeps shooting the gap on these blitzes. They've run so many Mike linebacker blitzes. And they've all gotten in. He has three sacks. Third and 13. We're going to throw the ball here. We're just going to check down. OJ Howard catches it. We're going to be forced to punt, though, on fourth and four from the 33. Give me the fourth quarter, though. He's going to throw that ball. That's just a perfect throw. Ball's loose. Why he wasn't touched? Why was he? Da why is he down there? That's another fumble. That's what you do when you get hit power in the secondary. Fumbles happen. We have hit power all over the field. What happened here, though? First of all, I mean, really annoyed that this fucking random non-route. Look at this. Look at this. It's a wheel, and he's like, "Fuck!" Oh, it's a comeback, actually. And he's like, "Ah, shit." How come my receivers don't do this? He moves to the open space. Kirk Cousins hits him perfectly. Kirk Cousins does. And then he takes a gigantic hit from Jacorius Ward. Probably never really had possession there. But if we're being honest, he's never touched. I don't know how that's ruled down. Because he wasn't down. We don't have, like, many total yard. We are pretty much even with the Redskins today. A lot of those have been, of course, from sacks. Really want to throw an X there. We're actually just going to take off. Joey Cummings. No, nah, that's not who that is. That's Joey Lockler. He fumbles out of bounds. What is wrong with me today? I can't even speak. All right. We're actually going to go ahead and max protect and maybe give Dante Buchanan a shot. I thought they were going to blitz. Instead, we're taking off again. It's Joey Lockler. Stiff arm him. Five rushes, 49 yards. Almost 10 yards per carry. More than I can say for my running backs thus far, but that's all right. Their front seven has played really, really well. Oh, Walter. He just breaks tackles, man. I think if Marcus is out for the next game, I might have to go back to Joey Cummings for the starting job, which seems odd. He's in here now. We're actually going to give him the ball. See how he does. It's just automatic with Joey Cummings, I feel. He just has a nose for the end zone. That's his 20th career rushing touchdown. This is his third season. 
Joey Cummings has got to be the starting back here, I feel. I know Walter Wiley's look promising. But Joey Cummings returning kicks makes no sense. It really doesn't. Marcus has been pretty bad as a starter. Walter's been awesome in certain scenarios. I think I might go Cummings, Walter Wiley, Marcus Wiley, Keegan Wiley, Cedric Wiley. That's the other one. I can't really remember their names. All right, here's a blitz. Hopefully it doesn't beat us too quickly. Tends to happen. <laughs> nice toss. That's a draw. Shed that. Shed that. Jeremy Hill, who, what are you doing? He's averaging six and a half per carry. He just dragged 390 pound Jamar Wiggins, like five yards. I guess everyone does that to him. And then Ruben Foster. Dude, what is going on? It's wide open. He fucking backflips like he's in Cirque du Soleil. Still holds on. Jamar Wiggins like, get your small ass up. Play defense. I'm doing my job. Which, no, you aren't, Jamar. You're letting Jeremy Hill, who's 100 pounds less than you, drag you. Yeah, where were you on that one, Jamar? And fucking Perry Cox, or Perry Curry. How many Perrys do we have on this team? None of them can tackle. They're not back in this game, but, like, it's, it's coming kind of close. Pretty sure this onside is not going to be successful. But then again, it is all Madden in the fourth quarter. So I guess anything could happen. Okay. That was way too close. Way too close. We keep giving him a lot of handoffs uh, from under center, but I feel like he's more of a, uh, a shotgun running back. Just based in burst and speed. Only three yards in that time. I feel like the Redskins are just built well to defend that somehow. I don't even know how you do that. They're just setting more and more blisses trying to combat this running game. But we're getting it going a little bit. Let's try and get some action. Is he staying up? Oh my god, how did you find the first down there? Did he get that? Third in inches. Damn, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like he's playing pretty well. We're over 100 rushing yards on the day. Granted, our quarterback has 49 of those. Hey, 49, 49ers, whoa. Let's get a touchdown for one of these players. Is it gonna be, nah, Joey Lockler on the move, sliding into the end zone, touchdown, that's how you do it. Goes over 50 rushing yards on the day, scores the touchdown, ices the game, that is most definitely the dagger. Absolutely no coming back from that. 38 to 17 more than likely will be your final score. You're going to take another sack. There it is. Jamar Wiggins actually is the one that gets there. And they're going to have one more shot. You know, man coverage. They're going to lob it up to the end zone. And by end zone, I mean they're probably going to throw it to the 50-yard line maybe at most. How does he catch that? How? I don't... I really don't know. I have no idea. Terrell Pryor, yes, Terrell Pryor in double coverage comes down with that one. Kirk Cousins tore us apart, as most quarterbacks seem to. I guess he's better than average, to be fair. Rushing, Jeremy Hill was dominant. Joey Lockler, also dominant. Rushing touchdown, also fumbled. That's fine. Walter Wiley broke three tackles, only averaged 3.6 on the ground, but he had 13 yards after contact, which is phenomenal. Uh, especially based on only 10 carries. Joey Cummings was great. Marcus Wiley, he averaged .6 on the ground. I mean, it's not good. Receiving, O.J. Howard, I think, probably should have had even more yards than this, more catches. That was our only receiving touchdown on the day. Blocking, we were pretty good for the most part. A lot of tight ends uh, letting up sacks and running backs and things like that. Taiwan Fair destroyed us up the middle on a lot of uh, middle linebacker blitzes. Interceptions, none, obviously. But we got pressure with Carl Lawson, Solomon Thomas, Ronald Blair, and Jamar Wiggins near the end of the game. DeForest Buckner also had a sack. So pressure was decent and consistent. And then a couple of forced fumbles. I know Jacorius Ward had two. Shard Robinson had one. They had one with Taiwan Fair. 
But uh, not too bad. We only recovered... I guess we recovered all of them. No, Joey Cummings recovered one. Okay. When? Oh, uh, special teams? No, nah, that was Prelo. They gave it to Joey Cummings. It was Dre Prelo. He also had a touchdown. Are they not counting it? Because it definitely happened. Whatever. I guess Dre Prelo just didn't score somehow. I don't really know. Let's see how long Marcus Wiley's out for. I think he's returning right now. Ruben Foster of help. What? Alright. Is Marcus Wiley out? Looks good. Looks healthy. It's not very good, though. I just wish the trucking was higher. I've been trying to upgrade it, but it's so damn expensive. Um, let's see here. Dawson Henderson's still out for a while. Taylor Moten's still out for a while. Uh, that's a big loss. Who's our starting center now? Lyle. Jackson Lyle. Doesn't actually look that bad, to be fair. I guess we could be in a worse spot. And I'm definitely going to sign a backup tight end. Backup tight ends. Oh, we could sign one off the practice squad. I guess Ross Blackwell is a, a decent option. He's not He's not really that bad, actually. What about you, rookie? You're not very good. I'd like someone with a bit more speed. Montre Pugh, 81 speed at 6'6". Can't really run block that well. We're going to go ahead and sign Ross Blackwell off the practice squad of the Jaguars. Decent deal for him, too. It's almost two mil to be a third-string tight end to come in in jumbo packages. It's fine, though. Let's go ahead and uh, scout. And I guess next episode, we're going to play the Rams at Levi. I don't really want to play this game. I'm going to turn off Injury Simulate, and then we're going to go to the next week. We also do have to cut a player. Not necessarily a receiver. I was almost saying that. I think it's going to have to be PETA. Just Peter, Peter Bread. See ya. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try last name. I'm usually pretty good with them. Just not gonna try. Seahawks though. Hopefully we go to CenturyLink. I don't really want to play at Levi's, and uh, we do. We're four and zero. Simulation is uh, showing us some good stuff so far. But that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. Should be a really fun one. I'm not gonna trade Eric Armstead. I'm gonna upgrade, and uh, hopefully we come to face the Seattle Seahawks. We can beat them. We're doing really well right now. Beat the Rams by one in Sim. Let's keep that trend up. I wonder, does Joey Lockler have an interception yet? Does he have an interception on the year? He does. He has one. Also been sacked 14 times. Six touchdowns, though. Not, not bad through four weeks. But yeah, that's going to do it. I'm going to upgrade, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.